Hi, hello, thanks for waiting and sorry for the technical problems. Uh, my name is Vinicius, uh, I work for Percona, I'm a support engineer, uh, working with specifically about MySQL and MongoDB. In this topic, I'm going to discuss our operators that we made ab available for our Kubernetes. Uh, maybe we don't have time for questions here on this stage, but you can get me here and then we can discuss any question or curiosity that you might have. So, uh, first about uh, Percona. Uh, it was founded in 2006. Uh, we have around uh, actually 200 engineers spread across the globe. And we have more than 100,000 views on our blog per month. And we have uh, tools available for open source database that has been downloaded over a billion times in the past year. We also have our conference, for those who are not aware, it's Percona Live. It's focused on open, open source database. And it's not only about uh, our database, but uh, Postgres and uh, MySQL, uh, MariaDB, and Cassandra, other, and other databases. A bit about me. I am working on Percona since 2017 and been working with uh, databases over nine years. Uh, if someone wants to ha have some question or anything specific to your environment, you can reach me on social media. Uh, you don't need to be uh, our customer. We are always trying to help everyone around. So what we are going to talk about specific now, it's the Percona operators. And first, uh, I'm not sure how familiar the audience is with operators. So what is a Kubernetes operator? Simply, uh, it's a way that you can package and deploy and also manage uh, a Kubernetes application. In, in this case, uh, specific, our operators uh, manage specific databases. So this helps ensure you that it's uh, consistent across uh, every single uh, type of clouds. So it will run on the same way in Amazon, Azure, uh, Alibaba Cloud, or any cloud that you might have. Uh, what I usually say basically is that Kubernetes is a uh, DBS on, on steroids. So you don't need to worry about any commands that it might be related, like RDS specific commands or Azure specific commands you have everything running on the same way in, in every single place. We have two types of operators running actually, and they are production ready. So one of them is for uh, MongoDB, and the other one, it's uh, ExtraDB cluster, which is, uh, for those who are familiar with Galera or MariaDB as well, we have our uh, version, which is ExtraDB cluster. And both of them uh, are available on Git. So let me talk a little bit about uh, features and advantages of each one. First, uh, our Kubernetes for PXC. Uh, I'm going to repeat this exhaustively. Uh, it's 100% open source, so you can live here and download and use all the features that it's available for your environment. You don't need Percona for, for this. Uh, you don't need to pay any enterprise subscription to have uh, access to advanced features. Uh, the way that Percona monetizes here is uh, if you have interest in a deep level project, you can hire us for consulting. Or if you want to have a deeper support, you can hit reach us. Related to software, it's completely open source. So uh, the, Kuber, uh, the Percona operator on this case, our, our product, 
uh, it has a scalability, so you can resize your your uh, cluster uh, online, so you can get uh, any amount of nodes that you need if you need to uh, attend any peak workload. It's completely dynamic. You can increase the number of data, uh, database nodes at runtime. Uh, you have automated node recovery. So suppose that your, your uh, Kubernetes node dies for some reason. Uh, then uh, by its nature, the, the container will rise on another node. It will get fully automated. So it will sync up again. Uh, it also, we also provide uh, data encryption. So your connection will be secure from both sides. From the application side, you can use uh, SSL and also the communication between uh, the nodes, which means internal communications are encrypted as well. Uh, for those who are not familiar with proxy SQL, uh, basically is a proxy that handles connections between your application and the database server. And this tool is, is smart enough to perform uh, balancing. So you can scale your reads. Uh, proxy SQL, you spread the, the workload between the nodes. So you don't uh, run into the risk of overloading any of them with specific uh, workloads. Next, uh, our Kubernetes MongoDB operators operator. Uh, you can scale the replica set for those who are not aware. MongoDB works on high availability with replica set nodes. So you can have uh, several nodes running inside. And uh, you can set your nodes as arbiter or as a MongoD, MongoD server, uh, which means that it can store data as well. There is automated backup. Uh, which is using our tool, our recent uh, ex, uh, backup tool, which on MongoD, on MongoDB, uh, it's only available on Atlas, which is a, a paid version. On this case, the automated backup is for free. Again, automated node recovery, this is available as well. So if the node crashes for some reason, like uh, any MongoDB issue or even a Kubernetes issue, the node is recovered automatically and also has uh, that encryption. One thing that I didn't mention is that both operators actually are supporting minor upgrades. So uh, between one version to another one, except the major ones, you can specify and tell to your operator to upgrade your nodes on an automatic way. So you can always keep up with the recent ver version, and you don't need to worry about this uh, when your operators are launched. And finally, uh, for those who are looking for something to monitor your databases, uh, we provide a PMM with Percona monitoring tool. It's completely open source. It's available on Amazon Marketplace or Docker. So you can download your, uh, the, the, your, the Docker version. And it allows you to monitor uh, several metrics about uh, MongoDB, MySQL, Postgres. And uh, if you want, you can set uh, the monitoring for your application servers as well. The tool supports it. And Basically, it's this that I had to talk. Sorry for the rush and the technical issue. I want to mention that Percon is hiring. So after that, you can read me out and we can discuss about this. Any technical issues, again, I'm available. Just pick me and we can discuss this taking a coffee. That's it. Uh, thank you.